Hello everybody, welcome to this Train Sim TV video, this is Mark. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand newly released Dovetail Games route, the South Western Mainline Southampton to Bournemouth route. Uh, this is literally the first time that I've loaded this route up. Um, not sure what to expect with it. Um, looks good from the pictures, but we'll see. So let's have a start with a read of uh, what's on the screen at the moment. Uh, it says, good afternoon driver. This afternoon you're in charge of Southwest Trains, London Waterloo to Weymouth Service, 1W65. This service runs fast from Southampton Central to Bockenhurst, where it will then be semi fast to Pool, and then all stops to Weymouth. On this occasion, you'll be handing over to another driver at Bournemouth. Open the doors here and ready your train for departure. So, we'll do that, as it says, and then we'll have a little look around. Um, set up the rest of the cab, obviously. Just make sure we're all set up. Get everything turned on. And then, before we set off, we'll have a look at the um, area around us. I'll change to set the headlights up now. There we go. So we've got the lights on there. Okay, so let's pause the game um, and go out and have a look. This is Southampton Central. First time that we've seen this in train sim, this, this entire city has not been seen before, uh, other than a Steam Sound Supreme Steam River route, so that's obviously totally different. Um, looks alright, I mean, nothing spectacular detail outside the uh, stations, that's really good, uh, you can see that's certainly uh, decent. Um, what I've just noticed on the station straight away is that there's the signs are double sided which in itself isn't actually an issue although it's a bit of an issue if you're going to have them on the back of um, girders and I'm not a fan of those roof textures either it has to be said I'd rather have it just like a clean texture I think than um, applying black dirt everywhere but and especially there I mean that's really not great it has to be said um, it's just literally black dirt the model itself looks uh, it looks okay, I mean it's not spectacular for a DTG route, I think I feel like DTG stuff generally is a better quality than this normally, but um, it looks alright, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. The detail of the actual route, the actual um, building work itself looks pretty good, uh, that's decent, it's got the car stop markers that you'd expect, um, platform signs. The signage, it's in the basin of the Southwest Trains area, I guess, because it's gonna, oh, the scenarios seem to be in Southwest Trains livery. Um, I guess because they've got a license for that, maybe, I don't know. Um, don't know if they've got one for Southwestern Railway. Um, but overall, it looks pretty decent. Um, as I say, the assets, the station asset is a little bit poor. The texturing seems a little bit uh, iffy. I mean, if you look there, the platform edge actually looks a lot better detail than the inside, so. I'm not sure quite why that is, to be honest. Anyway, um, we're set up, ready to go, I believe. Um, just wait now for the right away. So the route you get, you get from South uh, from St Denis down to Bournemouth. Um, which in itself is about 35 miles from St Denis to Bournemouth. You also get the Limington Pier branch, which is a really nice little addition, that's cool. Uh, as a choice of route, it's a little bit bizarre because uh, whilst Southampton and Bournemouth, I suppose, are, well, Southampton certainly railway centre, Bournemouth is sort of a, is a, just a, a station, really. It's not really a destination, especially not without the depot at um, Bournemouth, where Bournemouth Central used to be, uh, Bournemouth West used to be, sorry. Um, it's a little bit of a strange one. Uh, I feel like walking to Southampton first, although it's 54 miles, it's a little bit outside DTG's usual range, I guess. Although it's not if you think about North Wales coast. Um, walking to Southampton, then Southampton to either Bournemouth or Weymouth, feels like it would have been a um, more sensible choice, but who knows what the thinking was there. I mean, there was loose. I would imagine they've had a decision about that somewhere. Anyway, ready for the off now. Uh, 
Um, I noticed the scenario start there, similar with the train not even pulled up to the stock marker boards because that's there on the left. Uh, I've not got any Armstrong Power Skies on this route, obviously, uh, and that's actually looking really good. I think there's some new skies going on there. I, I quite like that. So the limit of here is uh, 40. FPS is currently around 30. So, I don't know how much AI that is, I'm going to have a little look in a sec. Um, quite a lot of stuff placed here by the looks, where the freight line turbo noise. Looks like it's quite a lot of new foliage assets, um, pressing all the wrong buttons. They look like some new trees to me. Not about anyone else, but they seem like new trees. Detailing for the most part looks pretty good. Coming towards the docks area now. FPS is a little bit low. Not sure about these cars, like 2D cars going on. It's a bit strange. Probably better without any cars. Um, station here. Station which apparently has no signs on it. Um, the ad area is looking pretty decent. This is um, because this is Millbrook, of course. I should have known that. I think compared to some of D2G, I don't know what it is. It looks a little bit um, older than some of the more com nor of, uh, recent groups. I don't know why that is or how that's possible, but it just seems to look a little bit that, uh, older in that respect. Southampton um, freight line return or over there on the left. Maritime term. Looks decent enough, I like the uh, freight line load, I don't know if that's uh, the original or what. Looks like um, I know it's the main shit in real life, I don't know how new the asset itself is. I think having these 2D cars this close to the track isn't uh, isn't fantastic. This is Redbridge. Recognise this bit from the uh, real life route. I mean, overall, I think the details are right. Totten this one. I like the texture and I noticed that as I came under there's a little bit low res but I do like the texture on that footbridge. Um, other than that this is uh, looking decent although that's not quite so decent as <laughs> a gap in the back of the building but uh, okay. Overall details pretty decent. 
FPS has to be said is a little bit low. Hello, 35, 36, and in, in a built up there, it's not too bad. Looking from the cab view, that, I mean, that in front looks uh, impressive, it's nice. Nice variation in foliage, and uh, I quite like the colours that they've gone for as well. So we will now head out into the north, uh, into the new forest zone in the north forest. Um, the new forest, obviously, is probably going to be the main feature of this route, considering that's entirely where it goes through. Detailing wise, still looks uh, pretty good. I mean, certainly nothing bad that I can say about it. It looks good. It goes out a fair way. Um yeah, it's alright. I don't know whether this uh, press pause move direct uh, unit is still sapping the FPS a bit. Uh, we're down at 48. Alright, uh, that's fine, that one's playable. Anything above 30 is playable. Uh, below 30, and it starts getting lower concerning, but double 30 is fine. So you can see. Clouds wise, I, I'm liking the cloud effects, has to be said. They do look pretty decent. And the overall look of the route is, is good actually. You just have to excuse the fact that I just got into that area speeding. That's our first new forest that we've just gone through. Again, there's a, there's a texture bug going on with that. There's, the bricks are sort of all out of line. And I mean, I know, I don't know how they DTG do it, but I know with just trains, if I spotted that, I would be telling them that that's um, slipped through. But I mean, I can't say anything with JT um, that I've not worked on. But generally, when we see something like that, we do fix it. Um, there's been odd occasions where stuff slipped through, but. I mean, the last station had a gap in the back of it. This station's got bricks that are askew. It's a bit uh, poor. And we've got a Kuju pub placed here. And I know for a fact DTG have got better stuff in the library than the Kuju pubs. Uh, and then you've got a bush with a fence. But I mean, that, that's all eagle-eyed me as a route builder looking. The station itself looks... It's nothing spectacular, but it looks okay. It certainly looks... Uh, it looks fine. Carry on now into the New Forest, six miles to Brockenus, which is our first stop. Nice uh, blue mile post that we just passed. I'm looking out of the cab. Um, oh, you can't see anything because it's just forest, but it's decent enough. I mean, I suppose the thing with this room is, is it's literally a forest. Um, what I can see though is that looking at the foliage they have scaled it nicely so it's not all the same. Uh, you feel like you're driving through different bits, it's not just literally a line of trees as you're going along. Uh, it all looks individually placed and everything. I think they need some new bush assets by the looks here or something, or retextured. I like the look of them anyway. Not sure about the these trees when they're on their own, they look a little bit strange. I could prefer the balloon trees. That one's a nice tree. That's a, a very nice tree. Overall, it looks really good, actually. Nice from the uh, cab view there. So 
certainly seems to be capturing the feel for me of the new forest. It uh, has the feel of it. three miles to Brockenhurst. Brockenhurst of course is where the Lymington branch uh, uh, turns off just after the station there. Was it was the last uh, slam door stock worked branch. Detailing still in the uh, this area is looking decent enough. I assume my FPS has currently gone down to eight because it's loading in the area. Yeah, it's gone back up now. Fifty odd, uh, which will be because Brockenhurst is now on the horizon. We get back in the cab, ready to break through Brockenhurst in a minute. I've seen any here. Uh, I'm imagining that there was no super elevation there, or was there? I don't know. I'll have a look as we get further on. This is Brockenhurst with the uh, footbridge there dominating the uh, skyline. Coming in over the level crossing past the signal box, we'll have a look around this in a minute when we uh, come to a stand. No idea where the uh, stop boards are now. So, whilst we're studying, we'll have a little look around. A signal box is uh, custom, which is nice, that's a nice asset. Um, level crossing is a bit weird, it's got no fence up to it. Come on. Oh, that's basic, really. You fence off your crossings, you don't just leave them wide open. And also, we've got a. We got um, that in the middle of the road, and the road texture actually it seems to look in, I don't know what it is, it just seems a bit inferior to DTG's normal stuff. Like Liverpool to Manchester and stuff, and, or maybe I'm just expecting too much from them, I don't know. I mean this looks a little bit uh, 2010 ish, it doesn't really look. I mean that's a Kuju building right there, and they have as well. And I'm sure again with ETG that they have better things in the library than than those. Surely. I mean this is an in house route, I mean like it's like JT not using the common library to their full effect. So I wouldn't I don't understand DTG's um process of not putting all assets into routes if they need them sort of thing. I don't I mean I'm not saying to put every asset in every route, but surely um to get some more better quality than, than the Kuju house. Good, with a good little touch of the speed boards on the road though, that's nice. Um, looking at the station asset, I mean, we've got that Kuju pub again there. Look. But looking at the station asset, um, the footbridge is nicely detailed. 
I mean the brick texture repeats on it but it's nicely detailed all the same um, decent ramp nicely goes down to the ground uh, cycle shelters that's cool model itself is good but I've just noticed a massive ever which is these benches I mean, come on oh dear we've got benches here floating that's never never a good thing I mean uh, I've, I've done some gaffes in my time such as not seeing Leamington station sign turned inside out on Chilton um, which is basically a meme now but um, that's uh, no, it's, yeah, quite comical. I mean, the actual detail, I know it's decent enough. Um, the the model is good. Um, scaling's right on it. Textures are decent. I mean, this this model actually looks better than Southampton Central. Um, it's really good. Textures on the platform are good as well. All round, I quite like uh, that. Other than the benches on the other platform, I don't know what this, the ones on this platform are like. There, but alright, they're just the ones on that side. Yeah, that's, that's decent, though. More or less, uh, other than what I spotted on the back there. So now we're away from Brockenhurst. Our next stop will be um, New Milton in five miles. We've got 14 miles to bomb, so about halfway through the route. All things told. We've got calls at Christchurch, uh, Milton, Christchurch, Pokestown, and Bomb. So the line on the left is the Limington branch, and um, that, that breaks away in a minute to our to the left. Um, that branch is included with the route, which is good. So I'll definitely take a look down there at some point. I'm sure I'll feature in some scenarios. They usually here to the left hand side. Let's see if we get some super elevation going on on one of these curves. There we go, now we've got some super elevation. So it must have just been that curve that didn't have any on it. Which may be prototypical, to pick obviously. Quite like the effect here, it's uh, alright. I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is, it's a forest route, so what really we're expecting. I don't know whether I don't know whether that's been in DTG routes before, but I like the uh, look of that bridge. It's really nice. Bit of a third arch going on there, but uh, otherwise really good. Don't know if these bridges are so wide in real life. That one's really wide. This Beulah Road that we're coming up to. I probably just murdered the pronunciation of that. No, it's nice. Way. See how often I've been down here in recent years. Uh, not been down here for a number of years. Decent. Yeah, it looks uh, pretty good. <clears throat> I just uh, 
feel like using Kuju stuff still from DTG. I mean, even JT, well, most areas, we're, not, we're managing not to use the Kuju assets right next to the track now. I mean, uh, there's still exceptions, but I'm, I'm seeing this now as a, a repetition across the route. I keep seeing those assets. And as I've said before, I know for a fact that DTG have much better assets in the library. But hey ho. Nice to see those uh, single arch bridges that have been included because I know they're a feature of this room in real life, uh, so that's good. Keeps seeing the terrain breaking through the uh, cable trough on the left, which kind of triggers me a bit. There's a lot of grass going through it as well, but that's a bit harder to uh, do. So we're coming to New Milton in a sec while we're stopping. I'm, I'm liking the variety in the uh, foliage. If you look on the left, we got on the right, so we got some nice pine trees and stuff going on. Shows that it's not all like uh, singular stuff. It's a fair bit of variation in there. This is New Milton. It's one of the stations I've actually visited in the car on this route. Came here a number of years ago to see Torvala go through. Oops, put into emergency. I didn't mean to do that. Let's have a look at this uh, station area. Looks pretty good around here. Scenery's nice. Station assets. Uh, this is the best one I've seen so far, I think. Just on first uh, impressions, I'm really liking this. Yeah, I like the, uh, the carvings in there. They're really cool. And overall, um, the quality of the station building is really, really good. Yeah, that's fantastic. You see, a small station like this, and it's uh, done to a much higher quality, I think, than Southampton looked like it was. I mean, like the, the platform textures are a lot. They look a lot better for high definition. Good use of assets, I mean they've used the uh, blocks away from the bits that you see from the cab, which is uh, what I like to see because at the end of the day, keeps the frame rate respectable. Getting 35 while looking at the train, not amazing but it's, it's alright. Overall, um, pretty decent. So next stop for us, Christchurch in five miles. I'm enjoying this run. I mean, it's not an area that I'm particularly interested in in real life. Um, and then I suppose in reality, it's not actually a very interesting area because um, the freight and everything sort of runs north from Southampton. And I think that's why it's sort of a bizarre choice of route to start this. Presumably, what's going to either going to be a new hub route or whatever, I don't know. Um, I 
it seems like a little bit of a strange choice. Considering that they've already built to Woke, and if they hadn't done the bit from Woke to Walu, then obviously it's a different kettle of fish, but when you've already built as far as Woking, the money would have probably been, I would imagine they'd make a lot more money from Woking to Southampton, then Southampton to Bournemouth or Weymouth or Poole, than they will do doing Southampton to Bournemouth in its own sort of route, but maybe they've seen something uh, else opportunity-wise there. Oh, a nice floating milepost there. <laughs> it certainly doesn't look to have had much uh, quality control in terms of testing going on because there's at least two stations that we've seen with big bugs on them. Um, whether that's the they've not actually done the beta testing or whether they've not listened to the testers, who knows. Um, and then that milepost there, I mean, that's going to be spotted by testers, I know, from when I've been no, 99% of the time with JT. We'll get testers and phones to fly that you know, routinely. So to find free things like that, to sneaking through is a little bit to sort of dropping the ball. Again, a decent uh, looking station asset into Admore. Good. Liking the wood textures and the benching and stuff on here. That's uh, nice. I like the lighting on this route as well. Overall, it's uh, looking decent quality wise scenery. I mean, in reality, this area is a really beautiful area. But at the same time, it's a pretty boring area because it's just sort of flat and trees. It's not as stunning as, say, Dartmoor, in my opinion, or the Pennines. It's a bit, um, bit of a nothing area. But the forest itself is beautiful, but it's not exactly spectacular. Which I think is why it's a kind of a strange choice because there's no towns or anything on it. But as I said, though, I keep saying the detail on it, it in itself is uh, is good. So uh, they're capturing, they've captured this bit good. This is the high embankment as you come down towards Christchurch. So um, they've got that in the game nicely. Going to be a lot of sets on either side. Don't know if that's um to pick or not. Not been alone here as I said for quite a few years so uh, honestly not that sure there. So we're just coming down to Crash Church now, 0.8 miles. trees through the window there. That's another instance of a bug left in the main product. <coughs> Liking coming into here uh, on first view and that looks nice. So again, another custom station. So there's quite a few stations on this room. I like that, I mean, the actual walkway's uh, been done in 3D, that's quite good. Good quality on the uh, texture inside again as well. Uh, and the bike racks and everything. That's uh, some some of these small stations particularly, uh, really beautiful. And this one's, again, it's, it's good. 
I'm liking what I'm seeing. So this is Christchurch, then it's next stop. Pokestown. Then Bournemouth. Last of all, about another eight minutes from here. I mean, hopefully this turns into another hubu because uh, on its own, it's a little bit of a strange choice. Um, I'm fully expecting that they're going to do uh, Weymouth or something after this. I can't see them just doing this and leaving it at Bournemouth to Southampton. Surely they're going to extend it at some point. Um, I think once it gets to Weymouth or goes up to Woking, I think Woking personally would be my choice if it was up to me. Um, but either of those, I think, would enhance this a lot. As it is at the moment, it's... Uh, Obviously it's a little bit singular, but the main thing you're looking for is that is it a nice route, and I think the answer to that is, uh, for the most part, is yes. Next stop for us in just over a mile and a half is Pokestown. And I'm going to climb up the hill here. I mean, I'm not sure if this used to be four track along here, but it all seems so wide at either side. And is that how it's meant to be in real life? I don't, I don't honestly know. But it just seems a little bit wide. That's all. I mean, you can easily never these bridges down, but whether that's how they are all in real life, um, I'm not sure. See here, look, there's not even a fence between the railway and the, the bush and the houses. I mean, I think having driven this so far, I mean, there's fences on that side, weird. That, the ones behind the trees have got fences on, that's actually a really decent, uh, it's a Kuju fence but with a new texture on it, looks alright. So we're just coming into Pokestone, quite a lot faster than we should be coming into Pokestone, my add. Oh, I like this texture on that footbridge. This is pokes down for box, uh, pokes down for Boscombe. going on with that bit. And yeah, yeah, well, come on. I have a word. We've got a gap here. I mean, all you have to do, even if it doesn't look great, is put a wall up there and then one across there and it's, you know, that problem goes away. Um, it wouldn't look fantastic, but it'd look better than that. I mean, that looks like it's going to encroach on the track as well. Um... Street level looks a bit strange, I'm not sure. Where's the entrance? Is it on the other side? No? Oh. Okay. I mean, again, this is this. It's up on the, you're up on the street level, so you shouldn't be able to be looking up there, but. There does seem to be a bit of inconsistency with the quality of the stuff on this route. I mean, I like the textures on this bridge, although. I'm, I'm going to guess that that's authentic if it changes colour on either side. We've got no steps on here, we've just got a ramp, not, not actual steps. Um, 
Another gap there. Another gap there. Well, I don't know support from the inside, which uh, I suppose is fine since so I'm dealing with from the inside. Um, oh. Overall, it's, it looks okay. Um, I mean, I'm getting triggered by the benches not facing directly towards the platform. But that's my OCD from building myself. But if I was doing that myself, I would be straightening those up in a line and trying to make sure, at least as far as possible, that they're all lined up, not askew. We've got a floating bin. Um, benches on this side look better. I mean, stuff like that just screams of uh, schedules and time limits, really. Which I, I, I know the commercial pressure myself, so I've been under that pressure many times, um, and it's not good. But that's the commercial pressure sometimes that you have to work with. But I do feel, I've been driven this now to within a mile of the conclusion of the route. Um, it doesn't feel as polished as other DCG routes. It feels a little bit um, not rushed. I wouldn't say rushed is necessarily the word. It just feels a little bit inferior, especially when you consider it's a short route. Surely doing short routes should mean that the quality increases. I mean that's the whole reason we're trying to do some shorter routes at JT now is to is to improve quality. We've got some ballast dug out there. I like these little bankings that they put in though, they look uh, good. I mean, it's, it's, this is all pretty run of the mill stuff. There's nothing outstanding, but then again, there's nothing really poor. I'm seeing quite a lot of Kuja stuff, which is kind of not what I expect from DTG because I've not seen it in recent routes of theirs. Like they're using warehouses that they've had for 10 years. So we're just coming down to Barnworth now. Dropping down the gradient. Decent cutting. The tunnel looks like it's been kit bashed. Which isn't a major issue, I mean it looks okay but um, I'm surprised they haven't done it as a custom asset all the same. Let's see what this view looks like. Floating TPWS ramp, we just went past there. Loud echoes. Purposely not going to uh, press T just yet because I want to have a fly around here because this is kind of the yeah for me this is the station that I wanted to see in the route. Now that TPD restaurant doesn't appear to have actually been floating, so that was my bad. Um, yeah, it looks uh, all right. I really like the glass textures there, they're nice. Uh, and inside there, the roof detail. It's okay, it's, it's good. Um, overall effect inside the station, nice and sort of uh, how I remember the lighting in here. Um, nice little area here where the bay platform is. Uh, that detail is good. Um, footbridge. Okay, why does the steps change to 2D halfway up? So, slightly bizarre. Okay, it's not a major thing, it's just strange. Um, texture wise and everything looks good. We've got the extra 
length and platform down here with the old signal box up there. Oh, come on, we've got truck. Come on. I am a little bit triggered by that. Okay, I'll be honest, I'm quite a lot triggered by that, actually. Now, that signal box, I recognise it instantly, because you'll find a lot of the steps are in there. It's Trovo signal box. It says there, look, look, Trovo signal box. Now, are we, are we serious here in that we've built a route in 2019 and a key feature on Bournemouth Station, such as Bournemouth signal box, doesn't even get a custom asset and it gets some sort of little silo thing, little building thing on the side attached, where you can still see the door above it. And it's true, a signal box with Bournemouth plant on the front. I think really all routes as a rule now should be having signal boxes as custom assets. And not even necessarily, it doesn't have to be uh, every single signal box has to be a custom asset, but come on, we're using Truro signal box for Bournemouth signal box, and it's not really right, that. Um, other than that, I mean, the station looks fine. That just lets the whole thing down, really. Uh, looking down here, that's pretty nil. Where the old depot used to be there as well, that's looking good. Um, Overall, it looks pretty decent. Exterior of the station. It's the exterior, so you don't need to do as much on it. It looks good. I like that with the roof there as well. The glass is really nicely uh, pulled off, I feel. Yeah, so that's kind of concluded that look at the video um, in my initial review there. I'm going to have another look through at some point um, to get a bit of a better grasp on it. I'm just going to take some screenshots while I'm in here. Um, I think if you if you like the area, I'd recommend this route. I think if you um, are a Southwest Trains fan, Southwestern Railway fan, Southwestern Mainline fan, you know what I mean. Um, if you are interested areas, Southampton to Bournemouth and Weymouth and whatever that line, then I'd probably say go for it. Um, otherwise, um, I'd wait for a sale personally. It's a little bit of a boring route. Priced at seventeen ninety nine with the stock it includes as well. Um, it's not, you know, it's not all that bad at all, I suppose. Uh, price wise, you get the four four four, you get the four fifty. You actually get Blue Peter in here, which I didn't realise. You actually get uh, the LNAR Pepecon A2 Blue Peter in here. You get the Class 47 in Maroon livery. Not even sure. I'm guessing that's meant to be West Coast, is it? I don't know. Uh, you get BR Mark 1 Coach in Blood and Custard livery. Container freight wagons in various liveries. So you do get quite a lot of stuff there included with the route. So for 17.99, um, which is the price it's come out with release, it is good. Um... It's one of them for me. It's it's a little bit disappointing, um, but it's not overall fully disappointing. It's, it's quite a nice drive. It's just a little bit boring because uh, of what it is. Um, and we don't know whether they're going to plan to extend it or not. Um, if they plan to extend it, then obviously it'll be really good at that point. Um, but overall, it's it's not bad. It's just one of those, I think if I was buying, again, I would probably say wait for a sale because um, even at 18 quid, I'm not sure if it's really worth that. I think if you don't have the stock already, so say you haven't bought Portsmouth Direct or something, which I would highly recommend and over this, I would probably recommend Waterloo to Portsmouth. But if you haven't got that and you want this stock, then, you know, obviously there's a, a, bit, a bit more of an incentive there. If you already own that route, then you, you're not going to get the new stock short already own it anyway. So, um, in that respect, I mean, when you look at pricing of just trains routes, for instance, um, different business model, but just trains are probably charging more for middle and main line. It probably won't include any stock. Um, so, I, I mean, if you look at it in that respect, then obviously it's, it's different uh, in that you really do get value for money, 35 miles, 18 quid and all this stock as well. It's value for money, but then you shouldn't have to put up with some of the bugs that we found on this run. Um, and a general use of Kudu assets, where really they shouldn't be using Kudu assets um, so widely when they've got such a big library of assets themselves, in my opinion, anyway.
but overall, I enjoyed the drive for the most part, but it's not something I could see me enjoy myself on like 20 or 30 times. It's like a one and done sort of thing. Uh, the Limited Branch, I'll have to give another one at some point, because don't forget it includes that as well. Um, anyway, that's uh, kind of brings the review to a, a, a close. I would probably give it a 6 out of 10, um, based on the quality and uh, whatever. But yeah, 6 out of 10 is what I'd give it, I think. Maybe a high five. Not that sort of high five, but a high five point, whatever. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, I'm sure Tom will do one at some point as well. And appreciate you watching. As always, please like, subscribe, uh, comment. We appreciate all that and uh, helps us to grow the channel. We, we really appreciate your feedback. Um, you can check Tom out on Twitch. He's usually live 7.30 Wednesdays and Fridays. Um, Twitch.tv forward slash streamsteamtv underscore Tom. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, see you later. Goodbye.